video um, trying something slightly new. I've done this once before, but uh, the way you put slip through a sieve using the wheel rather than any effort on your part. So firstly, this is just a bucket of reclaim, like trimming scraps that I've left to soak. And then I've got a, a whisk attachment on my drill. That's mixed it in a bit. You don't wanna do that for too long with a regular drill um, because the motors just aren't up to the, the strain of mixing slip for a long period of time. If you get a proper mixer for, for clay, they're significantly more substantial than those sorts of drills. Um, and then this is a 60 mesh sieve another bucket and the plan is I've got um, just an IKEA brush but some people use spatulas and I'm going to try and pour some of this in there without slopping it around too much hopefully right this would be very difficult to get through the sieve a while but it will give you a nice consistency for the sort of stuff I do with slip. So this is a gif and grip, I've mentioned them in other videos but um, normally used for trimming. They just centre things on the wheel and with any luck, we'll find out in a second when this starts, the level starts to drop. This is being forced through the sieve. Oh yeah, I did wonder how well it will stay attached to the bucket onto the friction stands. Let's see. Sort of. It's not really going very quickly. Um, it is going through. The main thing with this is that it's no effort. So even if it takes a few minutes, I would much rather that to doing it by hand. Yeah, it's going through, it's nice and smooth. This will take probably a couple of minutes to pass that bucket through, but then I will have a new bucket full of very smooth slip by the time it's gone through this sieve. There won't be any lumps in it. Right, I might be here for a little while, but um, the system works and it is no effort, so significantly more Appealing than manually putting it through the sieve, which also takes forever. But um, you've got two options really when doing a slip. Either you water it down, put it through the sieve faster, and then try and get the water back out by letting it split and removing the top layer of water because they will separate out over time. Or you don't put so much water in the starting mix uh, and then it's far harder to work with, but the upside is you don't need to leave it so long or it's the right consistency. So um, I might pass some of it through at this thickness, take it off and then I can use it immediately and then water the rest down so I can put it through faster and then just remove the water in a week or so's time. But it takes quite a while to split enough to get thick enough slip for kind of drippy slippy and Nautilus and what have you.